Now, let's take you live to the Electoral Commission uh, as Bernard Mona heads to the uh, Electoral Commission to raise some issues as far as the limited voter registration exercise is concerned. You know that the EC has started a piloting today. We'll bring you more on that. My colleague Max Solabuba has been out, out and about. But right now, Chrissy Parker Wilson joins me live from the Electoral Commission. Parker, what can you report from the headquarters of the EC? Well, NS, we currently are at the Osu runabout where Bernard Mona, chairman of the PNC, mm. and some other supporters of the interparty resistance against the new register are moving to the police area headquarters. Okay. Now, because the chairman of the PNC, Bernard Mona, has been invited by the police to come and answer some questions of alleged threats against the electoral commission. And basically, uh, in the words of Bernard Mona, that they want to start the uh, mass registration exercise with the reason that the Electoral Commission intends to uh, disenfranchise over 10 million prospective voters in the upcoming election. Now, Bernard Mona himself is here um, um, arrest. Uh, let me find out from him. Yes, uh, go ahead. As he's going to the CID headquarters at the moment, um, what is he going to expect from the CID this morning? So what are you expecting from the CID since you've been invited, sir? I don't know why they are inviting me. So I'm going to ask them why I have been invited. I'm sure that um, they will have to explain what will occasion an invitation to me, particularly when I spoke as eloquent as possible. I spoke in unblemish, in uh, clear English, that um, if the Electoral Commission decides to go ahead the way they want to proceed to evoke confusion at the registration centers. And, and I read the CID invitation. That is the main reason why they're inviting you to answer questions about the disruption of the mass registration exercise. I, I, I never use the word disrupt. I am very sensitive to my choice of English language. And I choose the, the word resist. And I'm resisting by walking from my residence to the police station. It's part of the resistance towards the new voters register. And particularly that the Electoral Commission intends to exclude nearly 11 million people from the voters register in my opinion a subversion of the state and so you still stand by your words you're not going to I retract this because the constitution enjoins us to resist those who subvert the state no, but in your own words you said you beat the ec the ec will beat you i mean i mean these I are said some they the will you send mentioned. people to beat us right. and if you send somebody to beat me i will retaliate i will give you a slap back if you slap me okay and if you use any thing which I feel will lead to my death. I will kill you before you kill me. No, you're not showing any remorse. The CID I have called... no remorse to show because I mean, the electoral commission. Could I am telling you, you, I am telling you that if the electoral commission proceeds, so if the electoral commission doesn't proceed, will there be beatings? Will there be killings? There will be none. So caution the electoral commission, the institution that wants to bring about the chaos, because I don't see how the chief of Zini. Who is the overlord of that area, who has no passport and has no Ghana card, will come and sit down and allow electoral office or officials to come and be registering people, and he himself is alien in his own community. You think that you can do your work in those communities? You can take me, but I'm telling you reality, that this will face you if you dare go ahead the way the Electoral Commission wants to proceed. If that is why they are inviting me, I am ready to tell them that I said it. And I'm ready for anything. I have no doubt that I, you want me to repeat? If it's my life well, they want, I'll do it. That, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Thank you very much. So, Bernard Mona is the chairman of the PNC and currently going to the Electoral Commission. And, and as, as you heard him, uh, he's not going to retract his words. Now, uh, I see some um, members here as well. Uh, I've seen the Deputy General Secretary of the uh, NDC, Peter Tikona, here uh, this morning as well. Uh, sir, I mean, why are you here this morning? I am one who said that this gathering is illegal. Well, um, I, I doubt if it's illegal. This, this, this is certainly what the Constitution bestowed on every citizen to express. And in our anthem, as it is said, that we should resist oppressors' rule. But today we are here standing in support with our comrade Bernard Muna, uh, who uh, uh, leads the interparty resistance against the new voter register. Um, he has been invited for comments, they claim are uh, injurious to um, the peace of this country. Right. We think that is completely unfair, especially if you consider the things that, you know, he said. So we subscribe fully to the comments of Bernard Mona that if the Electoral Commission proceeds, 
and they create chaos. And just like the deputy secretary of the MPP said, they attack anybody at the police, police station. We'll beat ourselves. When it comes to killing, we kill ourselves. And it, 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 it's just as simple as that. You know, when, when, when the, the, the Constitution of the Republic gives you the right for self-defense. So I don't know whether the police are thinking that the, 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 the Obriboy and Coast and the, and the Invisible Forces will come and attack people at the police station and will clap for them for attacking us. They will shoot people at the police station and will clap for them for shooting us, just like they did in the Iowa Suez War. Right, so that is not happening again in this country. So, yeah, so what Benamona said, what Benamona said, is that if, if you oppress, we oppress you. If you suppress, we suppress you. If President Akufuado thinks that he can use the Ghana police service to intimidate us, to cover us into silence, into submission, so that we kotow okay. to, to, to the idea of rigging and stealing the mandate of the people, they should forget it. Because we are enjoined by the law to protect the sanctity of our democracy. And that is exactly what we are doing. No single person will be disenfranchised without his choice. Uh, thank you very much, Ernest. That, that was the Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, uh, Peter Baba Otikono. So, uh, as you can see behind me, okay. I and of course, my colleague PC Parker Wilson is on the ground there, uh, following that uh, walk uh, or that protest, if you want, by uh, the inter-party resistance uh, movement against the Coalition of a New Voters Register, which Bernard Mona leads. He is the chairman also of the uh, PNC, and of course, enjoying some solidarity there from uh, members of the NDC. You had the, the Deputy General Secretary Peter Otokuno.